Hi Lisa. I uh, just had some time to go over uh, your slip collar that I took today. And uh, I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to highly suggest that you bring it back, get a refund, and, and how to make sure that it's going to work properly. So what a slip collar does is it naturally tightens when uh, a dog or a puppy pulls. And also the minute they give in or they stop pulling or they back up, it naturally just releases. So of course we don't want to hurt the dog one and we definitely don't want to choke the dog. So, <clears throat> so this is the one I make. Again, just a cheap cheap collar and again when you put it on the dog i know you're facing the camera but picture the dog looking at you and this is uh tiger's mouth and snout and muzzle so it should go on kind of like a pee when you're looking at it so as the dog pulls it tightens but as the dog gives it naturally loosens so i don't know if you can see that so the dog's pulling it tightens it puts we call it pressure tightens around, it feels uncomfortable, it gets their attention, so we call that pressure. And then when he gives in or does what we want, the pressure releases, so the weight of the collar shows it to, uh, I mean, as the the, uh, the uh, leash, the weight of the leash falls back down as he stops pulling or gives in or comes to you, you can see. So pull, doesn't pull. So again, it's always about safety of the dog. Now with yours, Again, if I put it as, oh, okay, we got a little jacket there. So, again, as the P, we want to make sure it does a P, so I have to turn it around a little bit, and the P is looking at you, so the letter P, the top, and the bottom. So what happens with this one, as you can see, it's very tight in here, and, and I don't believe it's called a slip collar. It must be called something else, but... It works, it just doesn't work good. So as the as Tiger pulls, we see it tighten around his neck. And if he pulls hard, it gets really tight. And then when you he gives in, it doesn't. And what can happen over time, again, this is all about safety, what can happen over time is you're walking him, he pulls, he pulls, he pulls, and, and every little time it gets tighter and tighter, it never releases, and then all of a sudden your dog passes out in front of you. So, as you can see, if I pull, it's not loosening, and I have to actually pull it fairly hard. What, what happens is that ring is too small, and the fabric of the uh, weave uh, also helps it to stay tight. So, this is very, very unsafe for Tiger or any other dog if, if anybody uses it for what I use my slip collars or slip leads for. So, again... Tightens, that does good, but it doesn't loosen. Nothing. It doesn't loosen, and you actually have to work at it. In the meantime, your dog's losing uh, blood to his brain and air to his lungs, which is so critical. So again, if, you, if Tiger's looking at us and his eyes are looking at the camera, we have the letter P, picture the letter P, and we want to go over his head as the P, so as he pulls, he's pulling, it tightens. As he gives and does what we want, it loosens naturally. So you can see it, how it naturally loosens and it's not choking him out. So I'll try the, the uh, metal one next time, uh, next Monday when he comes. And I'm sure the metal one will work right. But this one, when, uh, very dangerous, can actually kill a dog. And I'll give it back to you tonight and you can bring it back, get your money back. So... Okay, hopefully that explains everything, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.